Yo, what is going on guys? Welcome back to another photo peek tutorial. I'm going to show you guys how you can make a Fortnite highlights thumbnail really easily for free using photo peek. So without further ado, let's get started. So the first thing you want to do, as always, is make a new project. So click on new project and for the width, we're going to be using 1280 and for the height, 720 and hit create now every picture i'm going to be using in this tutorial will be down in the description below so make sure to check that out if you want to use the same pictures as me so right here i got this transparent picture of i don't know who this is i don't know anything about fortnite so uh yeah just ignore if this is a bad character or something i don't really know how it works so yeah we're just going to be using this for now go ahead and bring that in and move it to the left side to start but not completely against the left. Give it some space over here and also a little bit of space over here. So this is where the text is going to be. Now for the background, I'm gonna be bringing in this picture which will be in the description below. So will everything else. And I'm going to resize this. So if you hit Control Alt T on your keyboard, it will bring up boxes at each corner, which then you can grab it by left clicking on it and dragging it. But you wanna hold Shift so it doesn't warp like that. Shift makes it get bigger and smaller like this, which is way more efficient. And we're just going to make this like that and move that below our character. Go ahead and delete the background because we don't need that for now. This is looking pretty good so far. You got that purple theme in the background and you also got the purple character. So now what we're going to do is blur out the background. So once you have your background layer selected, go up to filter, blur and Gaussian blur. That is the one I'm going to go with. You can go with a different one if you'd like, but I'm going to go with this one because it looks really clean and hit OK. Now we're going to need some text. So go ahead and go to your text tool at the bottom left. It's called the type tool and click anywhere on your canvas. You will see a little line pop up. Now you can type in a number. So let's just do a uh, number, uh, I don't know, five and just hit control A to select all the text. Go up here to size and type in 300 to start, maybe 400. You want it to be pretty big, 400 is a good start. And we'll just move that up here. Double click on it to select it, or you can just highlight it. And we're gonna change a different font. I'm gonna go with the luckiest guy font. It is built in photo piece, so don't even worry about downloading a font. And it looks pretty good. So we're gonna confirm that. And we're gonna decide where we're gonna put it. I think I'm gonna make it even bigger. So we'll try 800. And if you don't want to type a number and just hit control alt T and you can adjust the size of the text like that. So let's see what we want to do with this. Um, I think I'm going to do something like this, move this a little bit to the left and have it like this. Let's see, have enough space on each side like that. I kind of want the character to be a little bit in front of the text to give it a 3d look if that makes any sense so now we have our composition completed so what we're going to do is we're going to double click on our text we're going to go to gradient overlay and we're going to change the color from a pinkish color which when you click in this color box and double click on one of these boxes you can change the color of it so we're just going to click on one of these purples over here so it matches the picture we're going to click the whiter part of this little lightning here and we're good there so now if we click inner glow we can change the color to white and change the blend mode to color dodge which gives it like a nice little look to it so you can see here it's kind of coming together pretty good i might even make this white a little more on the purple side like let's see I guess that's fine for now go ahead and add a drop shadow turn the spread all the way up to a hundred percent as well as the opacity now you can change the color to a darker purple also make sure to change your blend mode to normal you can change it to a darker shade of this so it looks 3d you want to adjust it all, change the size a bit. Let's make it even darker. 
Okay. I might even make this color more purple because it's kind of on the pinker side. So let's go ahead and get a purple there and a lighter purple. Go here. So it looks like that now. It's looking a lot better. We can adjust the settings if you want. I like the angle how it is. Now what we're going to do is duplicate this text layer. Move the copy below the original. Hit Control Alt T to make it bigger and just make this text a lot bigger than the other one. Not too much, but have a pretty big difference between them like that. Now go over here to opacity and turn it down. And you can adjust it all to make it look right. Like that might be a little bit too big. But just to give it some more depth to it. Now what we're going to do is add a border. So go ahead and go to your, where is it? Your rectangle tool down here. Go to the fill and make that the X. That'll make the inside transparent. And for the stroke, make that white. And we're just going to leave it at 10 for now. Start at the top left. Hold left click and drag to the bottom right. And now you can adjust the size of it. So about 48 works pretty good. Now go down here to the blend mode and change that to overlay. It'll give it a really cool looking effect. And I really do like how the character is in front of the border. It kind of gives it more depth compared to making it behind it. But you can see the difference. I think it looks a lot better in front. Now we're going to start adding some adjustment layers. So go ahead and go down here to new adjustment layer. And we're going to start out with exposure. Turn the exposure up just a bit and you can adjust all this to your liking. I like it. Not too bright. About 200 works pretty good. Just a little difference. Go back down here and we can go to vibrance and just turn up the vibrance and saturation a bit. You can see the difference. Now I'm just going to get my rectangle tool. Make sure the stroke is transparent and change the fill to like a pink or whatever color theme you're going with and just draw it over your entire picture. And now go here to the blend mode and change that to color. That'll give it a really cool look and you can turn the opacity down a little bit if you don't want it to be so strong. So you can see it kind of makes it look a lot better. Um, you know, just adjust it to your liking and it's going to look pretty good. So to keep it simple, I'm going to end the video here. Now you guys know how to make a really cool, simple looking Fortnite um, highlights thumbnail. I do hope you guys enjoyed it. If you did, leave a like and subscribe as always, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.